own guy. I decided that the next album song is coming out Wednesday. But, sorry, my finger for some reason is sticky. And I don't know why. Okay, but here's why. I love to do it tomorrow, but I realized Wednesday is Bella's birthday. So, like, literally, Wednesday is the 10th, I'm pretty sure. So, it would be coming out on Bella's birthday, which is good. Like, and also, it makes the most sense because the next album song is dedicated to Bella because of her birthday. That's like a little bonus, yeah. Um, yeah, well, we already got some fun stuff that is being sent to her. We just gotta put like a stamp on it and close it. So that's like a fun little thing. Because usually we, like, here's the thing. I feel like we never like send her birthday gifts that much. I feel like we'll send her a card occasion. You know, or like, I, because, and here's why, because usually only we like FaceTime her or something and it's fun, but because basically for some reason, and like last year, she decided to make it impossible to get a hold of her. Like, impossible. Like, you can never get a hold of that. And if you do, it's like you're the luckiest person on earth. Stop my dog running in, but he doesn't. He's just running around with his toy. But the next album is going to be kind of dedicated to Belle, so that's going to be fun. I'm very excited because I just want to do good. Like, honestly, with it, I feel like let's just get some likes on it. Like, get some likes on it, not for me, but uh, in honor of Belle's birthday. Okay, like that, like, you know, can we get something small like that uh, for Bella? Honestly, it would be amazing if that actually happened. And we'll see. If it even gets one like I'm going to be outside. Because it's like a birthday gift to Bella from you guys. So, yeah, like, yeah, personally. <laughs> okay, I wanted to bring up something. It kind of is a thing today. Okay, so on, like, sun, yeah, Sunday, so, like, the podcast that I filmed yesterday, I talked a little bit about, like, JoJo coming out and stuff. And I, like, told, kind of explained that. Uh, and in my opinion, like, like, that's totally cool. Nothing changed about her. Like, in my opinion, nothing changed because with JoJo, um, it's always changing. Like, there's always something new and exciting. And, like, now, so to me, like, I get just, like, kind of normal. And, like, to be honest, I kind of, like, at this point, I almost felt like, I, part of me, like, knew that she was always going to be different in many ways. And she totally is different in many ways. And in some of the best possible, like, and so it's just really cool. Now, I want to continue on. Cause, so, basically, this kind of annoying. Let me watch Sam. You want him in here? Yes. You got him shut out. He can come. Hey Sam. Hey Sam. Yeah. But yeah, like this was driving mad. Okay, so I'm gonna explain something and then I'll explain what we're <laughs> so Jojo oh basically a few days ago. Ago, or like, no, it was last Wednesday. I didn't watch it until Thursday. That when it came out on YouTube. And JoJo went on the Jim Fallon show and she talked 
about two things that were, like, very standing out. Uh, first up, she talked about why she was in Canada. Uh, I don't know if she still is, to be honest. Because from what I heard, like, out of Joe's mouth in the live stream one time, she said that she was staying until, like, the middle of March. But all of a sudden, now she's reunited with, I'm about to get to it. You know? So, I don't know, but she talked about how there's going to be a JoJo musical called J-Team. And, like, so that was cool. But then, in the video, she said, well, no, on, pretty much it was a TV show, but the clip, she said that she was dating someone. Dating mm, someone that's a girl. And everyone, like, I mean, so many people, so many fan pages, and, just came out saying, it's Kylie, it's Kylie, and I'm like, she did not, that what got me annoyed, was that everyone was saying that with Kylie, without even, like for me, I'm the type, uh, I won't believe it until I hear it from someone's mouth, and so like, I, anything about JoJo or something, and just because some people said that with Kylie, I, mean, I wasn't going to be like, it's Kylie, unless JoJo said it, or like, one of JoJo's family members said it, or like, a friend of JoJo. So for me, it was like, mm. like, well, wait, and if JoJo said that it's her, then it's her. And today, JoJo said that was her. She prayed, but here's the thing, the thing that's in... So, I kind of had my idea that with Kylie, and like, I, I was just being respectful and like, not going out and saying that with Kylie. And for those who don't know, Kylie is a girl in math. JoJo, in 2019, for Christmas, she went on this like, Christmas cruise and met Kylie. You know, like, her and her family, like, like around Christmas time, they go on like, a little trip. So, she went on like, on a Christmas cruise, and it was fun, and that's where she met Kylie, and pretty much, pretty much her and Kylie been friends, like, for over a year now, um, and so, but JoJo came out, okay, I'm actually pulling up the post, so I can use the exact words that JoJo said. Okay, sorry, I kind of like this. Wait, I already liked it. Okay, we're good. Congrats, I got to check something first. Okay, we are. We're checking two things, okay? We'll come back and check. Okay, here we go. We're gonna... Look here it is, okay. So she came out and, okay, we're done. After being my best friend for over a year, you're January 8th, 2021, I got to start calling this amazing human my girlfriend. Joe has that Zach typing. And, and since then, I've been the happy. I ever been. See? And so when people start judging, <coughs> sorry. Here's the thing. My dog Sam, he doesn't bite. I promise. He doesn't bite. But he'll growl and try to make you think. And since then, I've been the happy girl. Happiest guy ever. And she seriously is the amazing love and supported happy 
positive and just the most and just the most to call her mine and proud and something to call my perfect person in the world a beautiful perfect in the world and I get to the most beautiful person in the world and I get to call her mine I'm happy one month to my girl love you more more and more every day so that was Jojo's actual word I'm gonna show you the photos so she posted that that one that is Kylie and her the whole like video thing Um, you got that, which is a nice one. So, yeah. So, like, right now, I'm honestly just happy that Jojo's happy. Like, I'm that good. Even though, like, I honestly miss my crush, and that's fine. Also, I want to give you a simple little DIY hack. So, if you know, this hack I love to do. Like, I've done it, like, a couple of times now, which is... And if you ever need, like, decoration for, like, a party and you don't have a lot of money but you have, like, like a computer or <laughs> and a printer hooked up and, like, printer paper and, like, ink and stuff, uh, here's a fun hack. Uh, take, save a bunch of images, whatever images you want to fit the theme of what. Your party is it can be birthday it could just be a random party you can do it with whatever and then and basically then you save as many as you want then you size them to the point so if you want them like half of like if you want like two per piece of printer paper or one per printer paper which might take a lot of printer it depends on your I think like you size it you know and then you print them, and then cut, like, all the, like, access, like, what I mean by that is, like, if there's any white or anything, like, you can cut them to, like, separate them, kind of, if you want, or, and, and then, boom, you got a bunch of stuff, oh, you got, like, a bunch of fun little decorations that you can just take wherever you want and have some decoration. I did, this is a hack that I like, though. Because I actually use it. Like, sometimes I'll come up with a hack and I'll, like, tell you guys. And then I'll be like, I use it sometimes, but not that much. But this one, I'm, every time it comes to, like, a birthday or something, I'm using it when I'm decorating. I even used it for my mom first. But my mom's birthday, I kind of went with kind of a random theme. It kind of had three in one theme. So the first theme was Tar Heel because my mom is obsessed with Tar Heel basketball. Her and my dad are. I'm not a sports person. Let me fix something real quick. Sorry, my back was messed up over there and it was driving me mad. So like, I'm, I'm not a sports person. And, you know, like, I, I've i been to, like, two or three football games before, but that was only because, um, we aren't really a football family, like, I, we're not, like, sport, like, big into but we went to those games because me and my dad did, one of our family members played football for a while, so we would, like, sometimes go and, like, watch which I didn't understand the game, but I still had a little bit of fun. And I, I think my favorite part of that was because it allowed me to stay up past my bedtime because I was really young and my bedtime was like 8 or 8.30, I forget. And, and so like getting to stay up later than was well, like, yes. Now we go into our bedroom at, like, well, I go in my parents' bedroom at 8, and me and my dad watch a movie for a little bit, and then we'll go to bed. 
usually by then it's like I around 9:30 ish or a little bit later. So, so yeah, like. Yeah, but for my mom's birthday, we did like Tar Heel, Disney, and um, one thing that was Ice Age, and there was something else. Or was that it? Oh, wait, and Galaxy, because <laughs> there was one like kind of galaxy happy birthday sign, but the reason we did one that was Ice Age was because there wasn't that many, like, great, like, birthday, like, printables that were Ice Age, but I found one that I liked, and my mom loves the movie Ice Age, like, she, she has seen all, every single Ice Age movie, she loves it, you know, personally, I like it too, you know, kind of fun, so, like, I mean, like, yeah, well, it's a, and it turned out really good. And good. And like, we also did have one thing that was left over from my dog, Sam's birthday. And I realized that we still had this whole, like, heart thing that says happy birthday on that Bella made. So, like, that was kind of a win. You know? But, yeah, it turned out, like, cool. But it's a simple hack that I like. I like using it because... For us, we're the type that, like, I personally, my family is the that we don't buy a lot of decorations, and we don't do, like, I, if we're doing a party, it's literally, like, like, oh, uh, like, stuff that we already have, like, for decoration, and all, like, print out some stuff and, like, put it in places in it, like, just gives it more of a theme, but also makes it fun. And then I like, because I mean, you use just the, like, classic, like, scotch tape or something. And it peels right off. I know. Like, so then when you're done with the decoration, you peel it off. It off. And it doesn't, it never removes the paint for us. Because I know people are picky about, like, using tape on their walls it can remove the paint, but for us it never has, like, I think it just never has for us, but you can use, like, tape or tacks or whatever you want to just hang it, and you got a party, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm excited about this next album song, it's, like, kind of dedicated to Bella, uh, and it's, like, a fun little, little thing because it is her birthday, and Ultimately, so like, I'm at this point for me, like, here a big. And personally, I'm going to bring up them. And so, Jojo pretty much confirmed today that, that she's dating Kylie. And, like, that kind of, like, for me, when I saw that, I went, like, I kind of knew. But I didn't want to say anything because, uh, to me, I kind of, like, I don't like saying things in case it's not true. You know, like, I like to be a very honest person and I don't really like to lie. I, and... That like a big thing about me is that I don't like lying. Like, I think the only time that I purposely like, I actually lied after I made the deal that I would never go lie again. Cause I did lie a few times when I was. Well, I admit to all of them. I'm I'm good and I'm I'm checked. I'm cleared. You no know, good to go. Cause I admitted to all of them. Didn't get in trouble shockingly for any of them kind of made myself, kind of punished myself one time for one of them, 
but I am not telling you that story because I said it in another video, you know, and also it's just not a, it's an embarrassing story, but yeah, like, I was one year for my mom's birthday, I like, and that uh, was kind of like, I'm like, no, it wasn't really lying. It, it honestly wasn't lying. It was just kind of like, I'm like, I'm kind of like, work my way around it because um, that year pretty much her sister and her brother were coming down um, for um, her birthday and like she, like never like sees them. Like we never see them because they live like over 12 hours away. You <laughs> know, like, so yeah. Uh, and so I knew like, I like, two weeks in advance. Like I knew uh, way before. And at first my dad went like, I'm, like I'll tell you Wednesday because we were going to be in the car like together. Like, cause I was going to, <laughs> to an American girl or, and then end up we went before Wednesday. And I kind of begged him to, like, tell me, and he told me, and he went, like, yeah. So, I, she never found out, and that was something that, like, my mom was very shocked about, because I, it's not that i always been really good at keeping secrets, like, even when I was really little. Which, at the time, I don't even remember. I feel like I was, like, nine. Maybe, I don't know. But yeah, like, I kind of like, my mom kind of asked me a couple, what time throughout, like, the time of me knowing. And like, oh, uh, like, so is there anything planned for, like, my birthday? And I'm like, I, you know, just, just the usual, like, I guess the usual, like, dinner, you know, gifts. And she was like, okay, you know, like, I, I'm fine. Um, and then, and actually, we all got surprised because she knew my sister was coming. Like she knew that, uh, and then we all got surprised, which was crazy. You know, because uh, we thought they weren't coming until like the next day, and they like surprised us and like came a day early, which kind of worked out good. Like it worked out better because we got one that for like evening with them. And so that was kind of cool, and basically one extra day. So, like, that was really cool. But personally, at this point, yeah, I love this leotard. Like, I'm, it would, you know, I want to say this real quick. Because I, like, if you're looking for, like, a good quality, like, kind of cheap leotard, go to Walmart. I got this at Walmart. It's long sleeve, it's black. And they also had in pink, but the one in pink, in, in, or issue with, which was, I that the pink one was sold out on my size. It was sold out on my size, but also, I couldn't really check to see if they had my size, to be honest. And they weren't sold out in my size. I don't know if that's true or not. But like, yeah, pretty much I, me having the issue of being short, I couldn't check because it was on a higher area. Yeah, and like, yeah. And I would kind of just, and my dad wasn't with me to like get it down. So like that. But, yeah.